What's up YouTube? Welcome to Spike TV, first network for men. We got some new parts for the Predator 212 and I'm going to show you a breakdown of what's going on for the CT100U. Stick around. Alright, as you can see, we got the uh, Predator 212 right here with its, uh, it's getting its slight upgrades coming along. But we got a, a new clutch in. It's a 35 chain 13 tooth. So it's going to give me a little more top end. Plus with the added extra horsepower this engine's going to have. I mean, it's already sitting at 10 horses with the governor bypass and removed. It's it. I still got the plastic gearing inside the engine, but because of the new carburetor, the Makuni style that I got from HotRodMiniBikes.com, that's the 22 millimeter, and I've noticed uh, Redbeard's got the uh, 30 millimeter. He's got a much larger style Makuni, but he actually has the Makuni. I have the Makuni style. This is from Hot Rod Mini Bikes, not Go Power Sports. But I do order parts from Go Power Sports, otherwise I wouldn't have that sticker. So, if you're all wondering what did I order, I got this short header pipe from GoPowerSports.com. Thank you, Go Power Sports, and thank you, Hot Rod Mini Bikes. And thank you to this company right here. GoKartsUSA.com. They have a pretty slick looking, that badass looking sticker, if you want to call it that. But yeah, uh, on to the uh, CT100U as to what's going on with this. The gas tank, as you all know in my last previous videos, the mounts broke off. You can see. I got a bolt here and I have mounts that are busted off from the previous gas tank and I think that's honestly my fault because I did um, biff it once on this mini bike I was going down a dirt hill on my back road try to take a turn a little too hard and it slid out from underneath me not realizing this thing has a lot more balls than I thought so yeah don't want to go too fast on a downhill grade in a dirt road on a turn because these things will just slide out from underneath you and I will try to get a better shot of that I really want you guys to know all the companies that I'm ordering parts from. So you got gokartsusa.com. Then you got hotrodminibike.com. And then you also got, of course, the granddaddy of them all, gopowersports.com. I order from various amount of websites, but again, with the CT100U, I have a new gas tank on its way. As you can see, I've got the chain spread out right here, the number 35 chain. It's uh, The thing I figured out about that is uh, I, I figured out I was riding with no master link. Like I lost the clip and I lost the retainer plate and I was literally just riding this bike with literally just an entire half a master link holding the whole entire chain together. So I got all that stuff coming on the way. I'm hoping one of these parts are going to show up by tomorrow. And as you can see, one of them showed up today for the 212, the uh, 35 chain 13 tooth clutch. It'll give you a little more top end. You're not going to lose that much torque. I mean, it's only one tooth extra from the 12 tooth. But we're going to see what 
whenever I get this engine fully stage 3, and that's my promise to all my subscribers and all you fans out there watching Spike Man's channel, we're not going to put that on until she is stage 3 completely. That means the billet aluminum rod, the billet aluminum flywheel, the 26 pound, not the 18 pound, but the 26 pound valve springs, which I think I'm going to need to buy a couple of tools just to be able to assemble this engine properly. I've already gotten my, uh, my torque specs written down by watching Redbeard's Garage and you want 170 inch pounds on the uh, billet aluminum uh, rod for the piston and the, uh, the, the parts that I'm going to be buying is from hotrodminibike.com that's where I'm getting my parts from to make the Predator 212 a stage 3 engine so I'm I'm a little bit questioning myself on the carburetor at this point because should I step it up to the 30 mil or the 33 mil whatever there is or should I try to run that with a higher jet I'm guessing a lot of subscribers out there and a lot of viewers are, are going to have a lot to say about that one. Oh, and another thing about the Predator 212, I noticed on certain websites I was checking out, they sell both the Hemi and the non-Hemi heads for the 212, but what my question is, is it possible to buy the Hemi 212 head and put it on the non Hemi 212 engine thus giving me a Hemi I really don't know I haven't heard much I haven't seen any videos on it but maybe just maybe somebody out there watching this video can give me a little heads up on the whole aspect of switching out the heads so that's my video for right now and that's your update Spike Man TV or Spike TV first network for men. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Spike Man out.